What is going on guys? It is finally time for us to head to the Smoky Mountains. I have the trailer hooked up to my Honda Civic. Got the Grom back there, so we're going to hop on the road. Got about a five hour drive and we'll see you guys there. So we've been driving for about 221 miles. I had to stop, get some gas, and then I had to get me some Popeyes, man. I was starving. Man, I am seeing tons of these little side-by-sides everywhere. Decent little stop here. Eat real quick and then get back on the road. There's a grind back here checked her she's all good straps are good so see you guys then Pigeon Forge, just cruising around, uh, waiting on my hotel to be ready. They're still cleaning because uh, I showed up a day early. Uh, I was only scheduled for tomorrow till Sunday, and uh, I showed up. They said they'll give me a room. She even gave me a discount because it's going to take a while because of uh, the cleaning. So that was nice of her. Hotel was real cool, man. Uh, they even so I was telling them about you know these little bikes that are easily stolen. And I wanted a room by like my car and the trailer and everything. She even said, "Why don't you just take it in the room?" I said, "All right, that sounds good." So that's the first hotel where I've seen where they've been cool with somebody taking a motorcycle in their hotel rooms. Real cool of them. But man, this has been a long time coming. I've been waiting for this for a while to come down here. I get seven whole days and nothing but riding. It is a little chilly right now. It's like 61 degrees. Gosh, there's so much stuff down here. Yeah, you play on that cell phone. You got it. I 
no need to look at the road, man. It, it's okay. Just keep keep looking at that cell phone. You got it. Genius. God, I'm gonna need to come down here when I'm not riding. There's just so much stuff here. Like I've been to Gatlinburg and everything, but I, I don't think I've ever really went to Pigeon Forge and cruised through here. We've always stayed at a cabin and then just, you know, went to the Gatlinburg, did the Ripley's and the aquarium and all that. I haven't been down here and seen all this pirate's voyage. What? It all just looks so fun. Oh, so right now, we're just kind of cruising. I, I think I want to head to the Foothill Parkway, I think is what it's called. So, but it is starting to rain right now, so this should be interesting. I'm feeling a whole bunch of water drops. So from my hotel to the actual small bore rally is about 30 minutes, so gonna be a little trek every day to get there but I couldn't really find anything available right next to Townsend towards the event so I had to go to Pigeon Forge which was honestly a heck of a lot cheaper for seven days at my hotel total it was $540 so you can't beat it uh, anywhere else I was looking around here it was just a little bit out of my budget where I didn't want to spend that much I'd rather make the drive I mean the cheapest one that I found was I think like $800 for the seven days so, uh, next year I'll plan a little bit better I'll get a cabin is what I'm gonna do maybe I won't go solo next time but more than likely looks like we got some good roads here they have the bike at 765 miles so I want to see at the end of the trip how many miles we put in while we was here go ahead and comment down below your guess of how many miles you think I'm gonna put put in this uh, whole trip Have a good day. Safe, sir. Yeah. Safe. I love the black purple. <laughs> yep. I figured I've done every other color scheme on a bike, and this is the only one I haven't done. Actually, I really like it. Yep. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done purple on a bike before. I, I actually like it. Yeah. I, so I, and, the, and the can in filter damn near matches, right? Yep. <laughs> I even got a purple chain, too. I know. It looks good. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, ride safe, man.
road. Wow, look at that. <sighs> All right, so I put everything in my GPS now, so I know when turns are coming up and everything like that, it will help know if I have a sharp one. And also, I put it to go back through Townsend and then I'll head back to the hotel. It is about 25 minutes to the end of the parkway. I get the hotel room so
surely. I don't know how many times I've said that already, but man, dude, I am freezing. It had to drop below 60 degrees. for like one day and then I had to stay up to get a whole bunch of stuff done and I didn't go to sleep till like four in the morning. And I messed everything up. Man, talk about a struggle. If I gotta go back the foothill that way, whew, I don't know if this little Grom's gonna survive. It is like all uphill for like the past like, I don't know, 10 minutes at least. We've been going downhill the whole time. Maybe like one or two little ups. Oh man, I am freezing. Fireplace doing there. The heck? Got a bug in my helmet. So now that we're cruising back through towns, and I'm sitting here trying to think of what I'm going to do. Uh, after we get back to the hotel, I'm going to go get me some food. I'm going to go out to dinner somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, I kind of feel like a steak, maybe. I don't know. I'll try to find me somewhere nice to eat. It's going to be kind of hard to places that aren't going to be packed because this is Pigeon Forge and all this is a huge tourist. 
tourist attraction, so everything's going to be pretty slammed. So the ride down here wasn't too bad. Uh, it was just about five hours, maybe a little under. But uh, the one thing that did kill me is my miles per gallon. Uh, normally I get about 35. Uh, on the way here <laughs> with the trailer, it was it was about 24 or 25. So I, I took a big hit there. But still not not too bad. Uh, the Civic towed the bike pretty well. There was some like two or three instances where. I was kind of worried because I hit a huge crater, but uh, it, I mean, it still handled it quite well. Uh, it was struggling a little bit on some of those really steep hills trying to pull all that. Uh, one thing I did forget to, I have uh, subs in the back of my trunk, and I think they, I think it weighs a little bit over 200 pounds. It's a huge custom-made thick box with two, two big speakers that weigh a crap ton, so probably should have took that out that probably would have helped towing the empty trailer man was worse than towing it with the bike in it man it was bouncing all over the place but once i got the bike on the trailer it, it, it wasn't yanking the civic all over the place i don't know if that's normal or not i don't really tow things i haven't really before and god forbid you try to get me to back up a trailer that ain't happening so right now we're about to actually pass where the rally is going to be held. It's right up here on the right somewhere. I think it's going to be like right there. That's my guess. This should be a fun little road back. So we finally made it to the hotel room. Uh, my battery died while I was out there and didn't have my backpack, so wasn't able to record the rest of the ride back. But as far as I got everything set up, got my bags and everything in, I have this uh, spare Lexan with me also. I'll probably give it to somebody. It just needs super glue. The little tab on it's uh, broken. Like I dropped my helmet and it popped off, but if somebody just super glues it and holds it down, it should work. So, I think I got a picture I can show you guys what it looks like, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Got a GoPro batteries charging now. I got my laptop set up. Brought my little mix amp so I can get good sound. These are all my battery packs. Got all my spare bags and everything. I think I'm going to go get some food and then, I don't know, they'll give me a beer. But, I'll catch you guys here in a bit. Alright, so leaving the hotel real quick. I don't think I'm going to ride much more today. I'm headed over to Texas Roadhouse to get me some dinner. I put me in an online order. Give me a bacon cheeseburger. Don't want to overdo it on the first day because I have so much riding to do. Plus, it is a tad bit chilly today. Rest of the week is going to be like 80 degrees, so. Yeah, what's nice is Texas Roadhouse is literally right here. I have a pickup order. Pick up? Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Hey, do you mind throwing this away for me? All right, thank you. Well, 
That was quick. Already back at the hotel and that was quick so I think that is going to wrap up today's video I'm not gonna ride much more man it is it's a little bit too chilly for me and plus I want to get my rest so I will see you guys tomorrow peace